أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Continuing on the series of Ramadan It was narrated uh, that Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم said that in Ramadan تفتح أبواب السماء وتغلق أبواب الجحيم وتصفد مردة الشياطين that the gates of heavens are open and the gates of hell are shut and closed and the uh, uh, shayateen and the devils are in chains what this tells us is that the gates of heavens are open when the gates of heavens are open they are open for what they're open for the believers or to the people for the people to uh, uh, to raise their requests to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They're raising their hands to the heavens. They're, raise, they're, 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 they're putting forward their requests, their needs. They're uh, seeking forgiveness, their they're good deeds uh, to repentance, uh, uh, all sorts of things. The heaven is welcoming us more in Ramadan. The gates, the gates, more gates of heavens are open in Ramadan. So as uh, in the hadith, Ya baghi al khayri aqbil, O those who wish to do good, come, hurry, rush. Gates of heavens are open for you. Wa ya baghi al sharri aqsir, O those who wish to spread mischief or disobey, stop, uh, uh, reconsider, uh, abstain from your uh, uh, bad deeds or your uh, bad intentions. This is what means for the gates of heavens to be open and the, the gates of, of hell are shut. That means this is not welcome. Uh, you're, not, you're not encouraged to do any evil all the time and especially in Ramadan. And this is also the time for the good people to be, to be uh, uh, distinguished from others. Uh, uh, to be a parent with their good deeds in Ramadan. And we see that, alhamdulillah, all around the world, that goodness is, 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 is more in Ramadan. But we need to remember here, yes, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is give us hints and help there by opening the gates of hell, shutting out uh, the gates of, of, of uh, sorry, opening the gates of paradise and the gates of heaven and shutting the gates of uh, uh, hell. Uh, and also is putting the, uh, the big shaitans in chain. So it gives us a helping hand, is that we then take care of fixing our own selves. And this is what we spoke about before, is this is a time to fix our own selves, which is our, our main thing. In fact, if the shaitan is in chain, then who would be whispering to the people? This is what many of the scholars discussed and elaborated. And the majority of them agreed that it's ourselves. Our worst enemy is ourselves. Yes, the shaitan is enemy, but ourselves are the worst enemy. And the most that we should work to discipline and to, uh, to, 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 to control. And this is why Ramadan is there to help us control ourselves. Allah is saying, yeah, the shaitan is taken out of the formula or, uh, of the equation. Or almost only the little ones maybe are free so it's a shame if someone lets the little shayateen drag them but it's it's their chance Allah gives us a helping hand here is to fix our own selves and strengthen our own selves and put it back in track that makes the, the believers uh, uh, meet the challenges uh, after Ramadan with stronger selves and new uh, intention to serve the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, we should not see any uh, segregation between uh, cleansing ourselves and disciplining ourselves and cleansing our societies from evils. In Ramadan, we learn how to control ourselves, to clean it, to, to discipline it, to uh, uh, increase our intentions are uh, willing to do goods, good deeds and virtues 
we should take this out of Ramadan to meet the challenges of this world. This is the training camp we have, which is called Ramadan, a very concentrated 29 or 30 days of, of, of training, of disciplining ourselves, of putting things back to, in, on track. So we, after Ramadan, go out and meet the challenges of the world and change these evils. Uh, we, a Muslim is, is a Muslim who can make the change, make this world better place by enjoining good and forbidding evil. So there is no distinction between the two. We clean ourselves and we go out and clean our societies and our countries and the whole world from the evil doers, from the mischievers, from the tyrants, from the people who spread evils around. That is the role of a believer. A believer is not someone who's sitting there in their own uh, chamber and isolating themselves from the world. No, it's the Prophet it's what the Prophet told us is the one who go out and mix with the people and bear with their uh, offenses is better than the one who uh, uh, abandoned them. Of course, a Muslim is the one who will offer their best to the to humanity and to their societies. And that's why Ramadan is there to prepare us for what's after Ramadan, to prepare ourselves to meet more challenges after that. And remember, kuntum khayra ummatin ukhrijat lin nas. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us, you've been the best nation in what? Ukhrijat lin nas. You sent out to serve people. We are a service nation to serve people in guiding them to the straight path. In enjoining good, and to forbid evil. That's how we deserve to be Muslims. So Ramadan is another chance for us to be in such a position to strengthen ourselves, to prepare ourselves to meet such challenges. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring us to this Ramadan and get us uh, 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 stronger and accept from us and help us meet the challenges of this world. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. Wa salli Allahumma wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in.